Good morning, everyone. I'd like to offer you a yin yoga pose today. Yin yoga is a little bit different than our regular yoga practice in that instead of focusing on strengthening our muscles, in yin yoga, we're targeting connective tissue surrounding the joints. And we're looking to lengthen, stressing that tissue a little bit, stretching. That deeper tissue is harder to stretch and harder to get to. So the way that we do it is to come into a pose where we can feel that tugging going on. And we pr prop ourselves up with different uh, tools to come into a place where you feel tugging, but you don't go too deep where you feel in pain. So we call it riding our edges. And we start by coming into a place where we feel the tugging. And then after a um, few moments go by, your body might invite you to go in a little deeper. And so we may remove a prop. You'll recognize these postures because they are all poses that we have done in at the end of many of our classes to cool down. There are also postures that you use in a restorative class. And in the way that yin yoga is different than restorative is that we're not looking for comfort here. In restorative, you'll prop yourself up with all of these tools to make yourself nice and comfortable so that you can rest and relax and restore. But in yin yoga, we use the tools to bring us into a place where we can be in the posture, but feel that stretch going on. So the posture I'd like to invite you to try today is um, a pose that you're familiar with in our practice, um, seated forward fold. And in Sanskrit, it's called Paschimottanasana. And in yin yoga, they change the names of all of the postures. And they say, change the name, change the experience. So this pose is caterpillar. And I'm going to start, as you can see, I've brought in a whole bunch of tools, of props. And the reason you do that is so that you can start from a place where you aren't going in 100%. You want to start from a place where you can feel some stretch, but not all the way in. So, and, and it's different for every person, every body. So in this pose, I want you to gather some things, and you know your body, so you know what you might need. The reason I brought in a chair is because some people can only fold forward this far because their, their back and their glutes and their hamstrings are so very tight. So some of the ways that we can work with this is you can elevate your seat to lift your sits bones up. And you might bring in a chair. And then maybe this caterpillar pose is like this for you. This chair still might be too low for some people. Um, I, I worked with someone once for private that needed a little more lift, and this was better for him. So maybe you don't need a chair at all, but maybe this is your pose. 
And I'm just going to show you a few options before we set the timer and come into the pose. I brought in some cushions from my couch downstairs uh, because if you have cushions on your couch that are removable, they're pretty nice if you don't have bolsters. They're nice and big so that you can, can use them to support yourself. Um, actually, before I fold forward, let me also mention that if your hamstrings are really tight, you could use a folded blanket, maybe roll it up and put it underneath your knees to keep that the knees bent. And if that's not enough, you could place something bigger. I'm going to try this pillow that is squishable and can go right under my knees. And that feels better. So then I'm bringing in some pillows. You can use blankets, you can use cushions. You, if you have a bolster at home, use it. You can use anything, anything to prop yourself up. You can use a chair. You could use, well, I guess you couldn't use your sofa because you might not be able to get your feet under it. But anyway, here we are. So this might be another option where you're folding in. And for me, this is too much cushion. This is more restorative. Remember, we're looking for a place where we want to feel some stretching. So I'm going to take these back away. You might need them. You might keep them. And I'm going to put them aside. And I'm going to come in here. I still need a little bit there. So I do like this cushion here. And I think I can get my head down. If not, and you still need a little bit more, you could bring in something else. So at this point, I'm going to set a timer. And hopefully, you've got yourself set up. Remember, we're looking for an edge where we feel some tugging going on. You don't want to feel too much and you don't want to feel too little. They call it that Goldilocks position. Not too hard and not too soft. So once you find that place, your first edge, and you're in it and you're folded, see if you can let your muscles release. And now you remain still, just letting your body stay, but we'll use the breath to help us stay here. So finding a breathing pattern that works for you. And if you have trouble finding a breathing pattern, see if you can breathe in to the count of four, take a pause, and then breathe out to the count of four. Just concentrating on your breath. And already after holding this pose for a minute, minute and a half, your body might be inviting you to go in a little deeper. It might be saying you're a little comfortable here and you're not feeling as much tugging. And that's a sign to take a prop away. So maybe you take something away and you come in a little further and you come right back to the breath. Feel the muscles release. Notice where you're feeling in your body. You want to feel the stretching. But if you're feeling anything sharp or tingling, that's pain. So you want to back off. If you went in further and then you feel pain, 
you bring a prompt back in. You always have permission to move if your body says, take it a little deeper or back off. We're already halfway through this hold. So hopefully you found an edge where you can stay. Turning on that breath. And if you notice that suddenly you're thinking of something else, then just see if you can keep letting those thoughts go for now. We're only here for two more minutes, letting the body release into the posture. And then again, if you feel like the body has invited you to go in a little deeper, maybe another prop goes away. Stay with your breath, feeling your muscles release, lengthening in the connective tissue. And when it's time to come out of the posture, I'll invite the bell in for three rings of the bell. And you'll bring yourself up nice and slow. And you begin to lift yourself up. And after every yin posture, we take a counter pose. So you'll take your props away and a counter pose for a forward bend is a back, is a back bend or lying flat. So your counter pose might be like this or you might come all the way down and rest for a few breaths here in Shavasana. So that's a little introduction to yin yoga and I hope you enjoyed that and practice it, practice it often. I'll see if I can introduce more postures to you and maybe you'll try a class once we can get back in the studio. I like to make yin yoga part of my regular routine. Um, so even if it's just one pose on a day when you're feeling like you need some stretching or you're feeling like you need to calm, but you're not able to sit in meditation. Try this pose and see what it can, if it can help you. Namaste everyone, be well, and I'll see you soon.